just standing behind you. I can just see a little bit that you're holding a little anxiety in the top of your back between your shoulder blades. So if you think about where your breath is, you don't, you know, very low down here, you don't want to move this around a whole lot. You know, I was saying it's kind of like where your fig leaf might be if you were a statue. So keep that in mind and try to breathe around it so you're not locking other parts of your back when you take your breath. All right, let's hear. Okay, so you're getting your, when you're going here, for example, up to, from the A to the B flat, you want your air to be consistent. I don't want to do this, because then I'm exaggerating, but I'm, I'm changing my tongue and I'm, I'm squeezing my tailbone a little bit, but instead, sense is here you're tending to want to pull slightly to, to get your air so I can speed up my air by pulling up but if I don't it's kind of like um, the consistent blowing that Think of the size of your tongue, think, think of your nose, and keep that always moving. So that ain't good. Start again, but try not to push. That's better. And so, so make sure you slide your fluid all the way up to the knuckle with your thumb off the fluid, and then Bring the heel underneath your pinky around to bring your thumb onto the flute and try again. Oh, let me see that one more time. Okay, so the fourth finger, rather than bending it so you're using the force to put the fourth finger down, think of keeping the fourth finger more like a popsicle stick so that when you start, you don't want to hit the key hard. You just want to use the finger. That's it. Right, you can even take a piece of scotch tape and tape that last knuckle so that it doesn't bend. So basically, I'm trying not to adjust with my tongue, my jaw, my nose so much. My primary adjustment is to keep the flute at the right angle that I need it in order to have my different air speeds, my different pressure changes. And I'm doing it with my arms. I'm not really doing it with my, my embouchure. I mean, I think a lot of flute players get stuck on the idea of embouchure, and so they'll play, they do all of this stuff that just makes it small. If I'm playing soft, if I'm playing loud, it's all the same. I'm not doing, you know, using my body, my big muscles like that. So basically, I'm just trying to steer. It's like this little 
action that goes up my arms. My elbows are helping my 